match number 30. It is the Sharjah Warriors must win for them up against the high-flying Gulf Giants. Host the power play. Part of that is up to Ramanur Gurbaz. Strike rate of 140, just 161 runs. A very tall, strong figure of Tom Kohler Cadmore. 291, best of 106. It was a fantastic century. Happy birthday, Dominic Drakes. Have the new ball. Just think it might suit the Sharjah Warriors a little bit too with too much pressure maybe up front. Right, first ball. It's pitched outside leg, but tight. Whipped. A whipped over mid-wicket for six. That is an early contender for the fair play news. Biggest hit. Serious power from Gurbaz. Because that's the shorter side. It is a very short boundary. It's carried by a long, long way. That's where the batters are going to be looking to target tonight. Sanchit with another. Straight to the man. Straight to the man. Takes it comfortably. It's big Tom Helm, I think, out there. And that is the first strike for the Gulf Giants. And he's just picked out Helm. Just had a couple of steps to his left-hand side, and that was it. Simple. Really step back of the length. You ball full, you'll be punished. And if you bowl straight in length, you're going to get punished even more. That is the biggest of them. That has gone a long, long, long way. Yeah, you still got a ball shorter than that. That's still in the arc. That's a big hit. That's gone uh, 100 and more or less a boundary every time you ball on the pads. Now, he hasn't got hold of this. There is a chance. It's a difficult chance. Oh, well, that is unbelievable. Because those, right, first of all, let's just say that is a mighty difficult chance. Had to make a lot of ground to it, James Vince. 50 when he got there. And when you see it pop out of the hands, you think, well, how often do you catch the rebound? The answer is never, or almost never. So watch very closely here. Pops up. He has done so well there to keep his eyes on the ball. Hand underneath the ball. <laughs> that... What about this one? Is someone's going to catch that or what? Oh, has he taken that? Has he taken that? He's definitely hurt himself. Well, we can't see the ball. We cannot see whether the ball is in the hand, on the ground, or whether the ball came out and he landed on it, because if he's hurt himself, it's most likely to catch cleanly and kept hold of it. In it goes, which is good, and then he just disappears. So I think it's... Yeah. It's still in the hand, so I mean, it's a brilliant catch. So at that stage, yes, this is going to be... I'm sure this is going to be given out. This has been reviewed by the umpires to make sure. He's done brilliantly to hold on to the ball slide and he had the back of his hand deliberately on the ground oh that's close that looks very straight there's no inside edge that finger will go up finger has gone up and it looks like a disconsolate evan lewis now will join the list of those walking or making their way back as we know that dead in front of off stump hitting middle stump without a shadow of a doubt so yeah the technology backs up both the umpire's decision take it away in bishop please you're in for a good thing joe denley will not be looking at the highlights later on you hit it into a length delivery that australian greg blewett got from kirtley ambrose at the wacker there's nothing denley could do about that so that's the length Going. Oh, tight, really tight indeed, and given Martin Sagas says yes. Stornis was on the move, he was on the walk. Was he far enough down? I don't know. Pitch where impact in line. Bang, bang. Thank you very much. Stornis on his way. Two reviews. Lewis, Stornis, both used, both gone, none left. Sagan. Well, that one's hit the splice. He's got another. He's got four. 
That cross-seam delivery, this one just bouncing a little more on Wokes. Now he's gone. Again, as you spotted that cross-seam. Not sure there's much you could do there. Similar to Joe Denley. Visa is out. Sick, whatever he is. Nice. Very nice. Didn't try and overhit it. Just about placement. Just a, a little guide to the third man. Third man fielder up in the yeah. circle. Dangerous. Dangerous shot. It's a little slip in the field. Oh, goodness me. There could be a run out now as well that might tell the story of this innings. Nur Ahmed wanted another run. In the playoffs. It's just not working. Just when a partnership was just starting to build a bit, it was worth 29. Which maybe. That is a fifer for David Visa. No reviews left. What a performer he has been. Three figures, 3.2 overs, 5 for 20. Does look very, very straight. Yet again, the shot across the line. And with that treatment. And as this wicket falls, Dawson will take full part in the match from here. But Brathwaite gets his second. Siddiqui falls. And the innings closes on 107 for the Sharjah Warriors. Of an innings for the Sharjah Warriors. Still that effective length, but the bat turns. There's absolutely no technique involved at all. They need 108 from their 20 overs to try to win this contest. We'll take a short break and come back with much more. Like that, you have very little chance. Tom Benton, who's uh, had the five innings in this game, the strike rate, he needs to improve that. Probably if they have to really bounce back in this game. James wins. There's anybody who can do it, it's Chris Wokes. Now, we didn't see a lot of swing when the golf giants were bowling. Fuller maybe early on. No, that's not going to help at all. That's poor. That's very, very average. That's not good bowling. That's not good start. Lovely use of the feet. Very, very nicely done. Well, the Giants are in a hurry, that's for sure. They want to... Leg side again. Too easy. Already runs off the over. And it'll end with a four as well. So nine from it. Four, 18 with that loss. So, and even tonight. More runs. More runs. This will hurt. Every single one of them will hurt. At all and found variation. Bowled him straight through. There's one. There's one back, and Stoinis has got it. Which from Banson tells the story as well. Back of a length. Doesn't bounce a lot, but he has played across the line as well. He's not helped himself by playing across the line, but that is what each and every bowler can do. Pulled fine, and it'll go away for four. Yeah, it just keeps it ticking, doesn't it? Different cultures also. Remember that. This will go for four. Not a good over so far uh, by Noor. Although he's gone for seven on. But... Right. It's a top shot, isn't it? Top shot. A fair play news. Biggest hit of the match. One of the candidates. 68 for one. Especially when you're playing on this pitch, and they have learned from the first thing. There you go. Nice and straight. Made sure that he's shown the entire face to the ball. It's easy power, isn't it? He's a strong man, Colin de Grandom. That's the big side of the ground. All the way for six. For the first time in this tournament, he's in form, so that's a very, very good sign. 
who might not be able to draw. Now, this should be taken. Didn't get hold of it, didn't get enough revs on the ball with the bat this time. And so what's been a very effective innings from Colin de Grandom comes to a close. Square leg boundary. Swung as hard as possible, but really not getting hold of it at all. Simple catch. And that's a shorter boundary as well. Contending sides. Now that has been dragged on. For some reason, James Vince, having been so patient throughout this inning so far, has decided to go leg side, decided to be a little bit more imaginative. Yeah, we've spoken a lot about uh, the line to bowl on the surface and here in Sharjah, and often it's uh, straight is usually the answer, but Siddiqui's chosen to go much wider. Over. So that's sliced away. Sliced away with Panache. It's that little bit much chance to bat and he's just getting a nice little experience here in trying to finish a game which he does with summer plum good for a local player uae based player to get this sort of experience good on the giants to give it to him ahead of kebab erasmus and another win for the golf giants and celebrating more than anyone else will be the Dubai Capitals at their base because they are in the playoffs. The Giants win by seven wickets. The global domestic T20 tournament. Nabi floated it up twice in a row. Second time he said, I'll have a piece of it. Finishes it well. Giants go top of the table. They're always going to play that one-two play.